The next presentation is presentation number 34. The lower limb arterial spasms following trauma a common and important cause for diagnostic dilemma. The authors are uh, Kapilan G and Aruchelan J. The presenting author is Kapilan G. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for uh, SLME for giving me this opportunity to present this poster. I am going to present lower limb arterial spasm following trauma. It's a common and an important cause for diagnostic dilemma. We have studied the spasm of the arteries in lower limb following a trauma. Uh, this study presents a series of cases which was admitted to the National Hospital of Sri Lanka, Colombo. The, the duration of this study was from October 2019 to February uh, 2020. It is a prospective study of patients and, uh, admitted to this hospital. And we have noticed the arterial spasm. Our criteria to diagnose the arterial spasm was if there is a pulse was absent or if there is a low volume pulse in the injured limb or else if there is a pulse reappeared after the observations or after the um, confirmation of the uh, intact vessels by the angiography or by the surgical exploration and visualizing the vessels. Confirm arterial injury and the uh, cases were excluded from the uh, study. The results, we have found uh, 18 patients with arterial spasms, among that 16 were males and the median age was 27.5 years and we have found the mainly on tibial, distal vessels, 50 percentage of the cases it is in the distal vessels, next to that is the popliteal, around 28 percentage, then femoral and ilia. The cause for this uh, injury was mainly road traffic accident. And, and also there are one case in the iatrogenic injury. Three patients underwent the exploration and forgot it dilatation of the arteries. Uh, that was a 16.7 percentage. 15 patients was underwent only fasciotomy after the edema settled or the, the uh, cause for the compressions relief, the spasm was relieved and uh, pulse was reappeared. In all patients, the distal pulse will appear and we have uh, uh, following a period of observation over the above intervention. And the conclusion, this study shows that young males are prone to develop spasm and it's mainly in the um, following a trauma in the distal vessels like tibial and the popliteal artery. Excluding this obvious vascular injury and confirmation of the spasm with more angiographies, either CT angiogram or digital substance angiogram or catheter guided angiogram, we can help to do it. Uh, we don't have that facilities in the access service operating theater. So if the facilities there, we can avoid the unnecessary explorations to reduce the uh, morb morbidities. Thank you. Thank you. The post is open for discussion. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, when when you were looking for absent and low pass, uh, did you exclude the other causes also? Maybe yes. the chronic causes. Yes. So uh, we haven't uh, included the peripheral vascular disease. We haven't uh, included the the patient was unstable. Sh you know, hemorrhagic shock. So we uh, purely include the spasm cases only. And mostly it was the younger population. Younger population and then followed by a trauma and the distal vessels. Can I ask one question? 90% yeah. of your sample are males. Yes. And is it right to say that young males are prone? Because yes. I mean these accidents or whatever yes. Yes. occurs I mean because that crowd is mainly, mainly young. young and yes. male. So what do you think about your conclusion? So the it, it, the results can resemble the same population that's your uh, according to the suggestion so we mainly focused on the injuries so that we haven't uh, included any uh, chronic limb ischemia or we haven't included the peripheral vascular disease so it is basically this yeah, person in the general will be very much uncommon in this group isn't it? yes in this age group.
chronic conditions yes. or vascular diseases and so on. Okay, right. thank you. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause to the presenter.